Elo. Look, no, sir. Project, so, like. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, do you want to do the intro? Or? Hey, I'm so happy to be here with my daughter Heidi, and we're gonna try to make a little escargot tonight. Just for look, fun. we're standing the Just exact same fun. way. Look. Are you not saying? Eli likes them. No, he loved it when I was cleaning these snails. He loved smelling just me washing them, cleaning them. He's like, hmm, what are those, Mom? They look like nice little nuggets. Mama. I'm Mama. Grandma. He's Grandma. Mama. <laughs> Grandma. Mama. I'm Mama. Mama. Yeah, that's what I was calling myself to him now. Because... <laughs> Your grandma to him though. He's known you as grandma. And my you can't daddy's change. my daddy's mother. You can't was change it today. Like, listen. He's known you as grandma. Really? So he has me as a grandma. My mom is a grandma. You call her grandma. He would be his, she would be his great grandma. Do you say that <laughs> when she comes here? Do you say great grandma? When grandma, great grandma's here, my mom's here. She's only been here like once. Well, what did you call her? Grandma, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Really, he knows you as grandma. Cause well, I can't have any mama. That's weird. Guess <laughs> yeah, that's right. I don't think so. Sidetracked. So. Anyway, we're going to be cooking some escargot, also known as snails. Um, I think this is a French dish, right? French, yeah. Absolutely. She loves this stuff, and I think I've tried it one time, and I don't really remember if I loved it or hated it, but I think it had a odd taste, but it yeah. wasn't terrible. But I wanted to kind of, like, just do something weird and different and switch it up a little bit. But I can say this. When I did cook them, I'm not sure if Heidi was even born yet, but... Also, I think I have cooked them in her lifetime, and she did love them. She she has an exquisite taste to food, and she likes good stuff. Chicken fingers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, I think you told them you washed them. They came in this right here. Large snail shells. Product of France, so. And here are the snails, straight from France. We're going to... <laughs> Put them on paper towels, rinse them first, put them on paper towels, and dry them while we're making up the sauce for the snails. <laughs> Okie dokie. And there's 48 in here, believe it or not. We should talk about what we have here, right? So we told them about the shells, told them about the clams. Snails, yeah. honey. Oh, clams. I mean, snails. Snails, <laughs> snails and snail shells. And let's say what these chives, lemon, butter, shallots, parsley. We're gonna chop, chop, you chop. Say garlic. And we're not chefs, so we don't hold our finger back and all that. We just pray that we don't get a piece of the nail or the finger in it. And then I'm gonna chop this like that, and then I'm gonna go the other way. Perfect. Now Maybe I'm not in her way. <laughs> I have a special treat here for Mr. Elo. I've been saving this all day to give this to him right now so that he doesn't get into any trouble while we are cooking. This is a little bone marrow. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, it's a treat. Good boy. He says, thank you. There he goes, straight to the sofa. But uh, we've been adding a little uh, fresh fish to his dinner daily. He's done okay with that. And so today when we were getting these ingredients, we thought, hmm, how about a little bone marrow? And see if he could eat that. So we'll have to keep a good eye on him tomorrow. Definitely think this is a lot. But we're just kind of winging this recipe with <laughs> things that I remember doing when I was making escargot. And, I mean, you can't go wrong with garlic, lemon, butter, chives. I mean, it's gonna be good. I really think that's good, don't you? 
I mean, it's. Mm-hmm. And I think we're gonna put the extra parsley chopped in a ziploc because it just we really like don't lot. feel like we need that much. Yeah, I think that's definitely good. Next are chives. Mm, I can smell it. Doesn't it smell good? Like onions. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, next is the shallot, and since we have two pieces of this one shallot, we will chop them both together. This is going to be interesting. Why? Because it's a lot of shallot, I think. Now. But, you know what, if we mess up, we can always know the next time that oh, there's so much shallot. Our eyes are going to water. By the way, this music in the background is this copyright free music because you gotta have some sort of, oh my gosh, it's so strong. Are your eyes not already watering? No. Oh <laughs> my God. Shouldn't have put it right up to your face. Mm-mm-mm, it's common. Oh my gosh, my eyes. Oh, I need sunglasses or something. Oh, there's shades, should we put them on? <laughs> I can't see through. I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna chop it really fast. Oh my gosh. Because I'm it's starting literally to literally crying. Whew. She's playing with that piece and stuff. I, I can't, every my time piece, I look down, all I see are my tears. It's like a shield. You dropped one. I know that. <laughs> and because, I know. you know, we're trying to make a pace. Make a pace, so we can't, like. We can't be playing around. <laughs> I'm literally crying. We're both crying at this point. Oh my gosh, that is one Don't strong. Don't you think that's shallot. too much? Well, it doesn't matter because yeah, it does. we're gonna mix it with the butter. <laughs> no, let's put some of this in the in the parsley bag for another dish. Okay, that's fine. I just cannot imagine. I mean, usually when they a recipe calls for a shallot, it is not because oh. they're so strong. So we've got the chives, the parsley, and the shallots minced up in here. Now we need to add, um, how much do you think, like a tablespoon of garlic? At least a tablespoon. Spoon. Should we, yeah, we should do like two. Mm -hmm. These are helix. Helix snails, y'all. Escargot. These are the snails rinsed off. Focus. Elo wants a snail. So oh! one raw. Or no, they're not they're pre-cooked, but should we try one without? Sure. Did you just run into the refrigerator? Sure, watch this. I'm done. Uh, mm, 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 mm. You don't think they smell bad? Not at all. What do you smell? Hey. Seriously. You guys, yeah. soil, and we haven't and even added this to it yet. Slug situation. All right. Oh god. Heidi, go for it. It's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chew, swallow. Chew, chew, chew. No, no, no. And then wait until you get the butter and all of that and these snails. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but exactly. it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. It was not bad. It was pretty bad. Thinking about a snail in your mouth is kind of weird. <laughs> me, he me. loves mama. Oh, it's me. grandma. Um, I gotta go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I guess I should wash my hands too then. I will do the mashing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Elo is like down here just staring at everything. Don't let him in. <laughs> Very well. Honestly, where is Frankie? Sleeping upstairs. Turn us up all, all night. So do olive oil and garlic salt. Period. Period. This butter is nice and soft though. It shouldn't be too hard. So basically, this mixture is supposed to kind of mesh together like a paste. And then we're just gonna stuff all of those snails into the shells with some paste. Heidi, I've been honestly thinking you love it. Great. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush a little olive oil on. Thank you, Miss Heidi. So now I do know that she has one of these. Little baguette bread, toast it with a little olive oil, and I'm gonna sprinkle just a little tad bit of garlic salt. Salt's not very good for you, so we're gonna go light. I want more bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I add a little bit of this wine now, it may, um, <laughs> get it open. Yeah. It might not. No, you remember how to do these from Virginia Tech. Okay. Well, we're going to add just a splash of this to see if it'll help moisten this process. A little bit. I can oh. help you with that if you have it. You want me to get another spoon? I think you should cut some more bread. My GoPro was not cooperating and it wouldn't stay charged. Get it out with. Do you remember in the movie scene in Pretty Woman where um, she went to that fancy dinner and she was trying to act like she knew what she was doing? And she ordered, the, or they ordered for her, and she was sitting there with the little clamp thing and tried to squeeze one, and it went bloop all the way around <laughs> the restaurant. Go on in the oven. So. This right here would be perfect, this little wooden skewer. Okay. And you could just poke it out. I wish I had one of those little cocktail forks. I don't have, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having fun. Heidi, stop. Ew. Don't do that. Ew. Here, eat it. Eat it. Stop. Open your mouth. <laughs> Ew. All right, hey, you Sorry. are grossing yourself out. The butter is going to melt in our fingers. It's going to be so good. All right. take it and do like that and that butter is going to melt in there it's going to be so good good <laughs> but the key is going to be now to get the escargot out of the snail shell <laughs> so deep but these are gorgeous too i mean can you imagine doing this for an hors d'oeuvre at christmas time mm, the color yeah why do you all think that like you and dad both have really strong southern accents and I don't really. Yeah, I'm from Finn Castle, Virginia and it's country and I love that place. That's where I grew up. So that's yeah. where you got your accent. But I guess, I mean, dad got, dad got his from Salem? No, I think dad got his from just trying to mimic all of his great friends for well, some reason. It seems like, yeah, a lot of people populated to Salem. And so I guess in school I was around that. So, I don't know. But I definitely have a little twang. It de my accent definitely comes out when I'm around my parents. Four. 
I'm har ra 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 No, I love it. I think it's cute. I think southern accents or Aussies. Remember um, my friend Natalie in college with her? Yeah. Aussie. Oh, but she had a great accent. It's funny though, like if we ever went to Australia, you could go over there with no accent, but just be like American and they'd be like, oh my God, I love your accent. And then I love theirs too. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, you just like whatever you don't have, I guess. I know, but I am country. I am from the country. But, all right. I think all of these are stuffed now. We're going to put these in the oven. We got bread on the side. We don't need more bread. So, we we'll see on the top. I am all about getting thick 2020, so. <laughs> more butter, more bread for me. But all right, these are going in the oven. <laughs> I wanted you guys to get a good look though, cause they're really pretty right now. I don't know how they're gonna look when they come out of the oven. They're gonna be so yum. I'm so happy to be here with my daughter. And, uh, and I know my husband will be down after I leave. Oh, your nose pretty. Hand towels, I like paper towels because they're, it's clean. We're going to reserve these away for the lucky few who get to taste test five. Okay. Now, let me see where my top is for my little Christmas tree. Okay. Let me see where Did you hear it this morning? Huh? Did you hear it this morning? Uh, slightly. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty those are. Yep. <laughs> and yep. we got our little tongs because we don't have the there proper... There are pitchforks. Our spork. You don't want a cube of ice? No, thank you. It should be hot. I'm gonna turn this music down. Cause it is awful, y'all. This copyright, non-copyright music is, I guess it was better than nothing, but still pretty bad. All right. We probably need a napkin. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I'm just kidding. Towels are, aren't you? Oh my goodness. We ran out of paper towels, so. We'll get there. We'll get a snail. <laughs> Cheers to this wonderful meal and having you here. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for this meal. I was just gonna do the whole. Well, you can get have to get it out, Ooh. being that we don't have the they are hot. Oh boy, look at that. It came right out. I must mm. have gotten one that was really deep in there. Mm-mm. 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 Oh, I feel like one's gonna fling across the counter. Well, if you <laughs> if you do that, then you Oh did my that. gosh, it's like steaming hot. Was it hot when you just ate it? Mm hmm Did it burn your mouth? No. Perfect temperature. All right, escargot. Hang on, let's cheers to Snail it. Snail mail. Cheers. Why do I feel like my chewing is so much louder? Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. Don't you think it could have used a little more lemon, garlic, lemon, and wine? I think it could have used a lot more butter and lemon. Well, comment below what snails eat because I would love to know. I think they probably eat like, not moss, but like, oh. they definitely don't eat bugs. But I they can't wait to have this bite and see if it's better. Mmm, mmm, 
this that one was this better. snail was deep down into the shell see which held more of the butter i remember i've had them like once or twice and i remember it tasted like earthy okay <laughs> well i'll get that before elo does I like to pour the, there's like butter and juice inside the shell. If you pour it on top, once you get the snail out, I think it's good. I think they're much better now, because once they're, they're cooked. Mm, the seasonings that went into this, absolutely delicious. Here it comes. Flick <laughs> on my face. <laughs> <laughs> you can still taste the the earthy and like the soily taste of the snail though. Like the aftertaste. That's what I that's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the herbs and the butter and stuff first and then the aftertaste is st still snail. Well, overall, I would give the Snails Escargot a, say like an 8 out of 10. I don't know that I would be like ever saying, oh, I'm craving Escargot. Or if I went to a restaurant, I would probably order it if they had it, which not a lot, a lot of places do. But... I don't know. I think the taste is definitely like an acquired taste. Like the aftertaste of the actual snail is very earthy. I rate escargot 10 on my list. A 10? A 10. I love You can probably escargot. tell from the plates. Look at the different. I ate 5. I <laughs> love escargot. Trust me. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We had so much fun. It was kind of a long process doing this, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely did. It was better than I expected and better than I remembered. We ate too many. Oh my goodness. We'll probably finish them once the camera's cut off. Let's be <laughs> real. And until next time, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below what you want to see next time. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Three. <laughs> what? <laughs>